Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Little Major League Baseball free pick coming up on this report for Saturday, July 25th. 2020, and we'll get to that in a moment. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DocSports.com, and just want to give it a trial run, you click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. A big day coming up on Saturday because we've got yet another league joining the mix, and it's a league that we've had great success in. That would be the WNBA. I'll be in action on Saturday. We are on a 46 and 26 run in the WNBA uh, going back to last year. So we're going to have a play. We're already ready to go for WNBA action on Saturday. Don't miss out on that. Uh, it will be posted over at DocSports.com on Saturday morning. Uh, as far as what happened for us on Friday, just keep, uh, continue to win those big plays on the pitch. Another big soccer winner. We had a six-star play on a game where we bet both teams to score, and they certainly did that as each team scored three goals. And uh, we're going to come right back here on Saturday and Sunday. You're going to get two plays, a Saturday afternoon game combined with a Sunday morning EPL game on the same report. One uh, purchase gets both. And the Sunday play, by the way, is a seven-star play. Final day of the EPL season. Uh, we cashed a six star in soccer as we mentioned on, on Friday and we are now up over $6,200 with our six and seven star plays or elite level plays uh, on our current run for $100 per unit better. So it's been outstanding for a couple of months now going back to mid-April in soccer. We'll look to go up basically about $7,000 for $100 per unit players if we cash this play. Again, two plays Saturday and Sunday morning for the price of one over at DocSports.com and soccer. The early Sunday morning play is a seven-star play in the EPL. You don't want to miss out on that. As far as baseball, uh, we were that close to a free slash premium uh, sweep, 3-0 sweep last night. We cashed here with the San Diego Padres, and the only thing that kept us from the sweep uh, was the Angels, an underdog player of the Angels who were about plus a buck 35 uh, when we jumped on that and gave that out. And if you saw what happened, they end up losing in 10 innings by a final score of 7-3. Uh, Walk-off grand slam home, runner by, home run by the Oakland A's, if I can spit it out. Uh, but real quick note on that one, Boy, I tell you what, Rendon, they're going to need him back. He's got the oblique injury. Uh, Joe Madden says he's progressing well. I doubt we'll see him this weekend. Uh, but Albert Pujols is what a huge liability. And I know it would be easy to say that over the past couple of years, but it's greater than ever before his detriment to this team and this lineup. Uh, we saw him come up in the first inning with a chance to uh, put a couple of the runs on the board, get to Freddie Montas. In fact, it was a situation where the Angels had the bases loaded. He comes up to the plate. He strikes out third out of the inning see ya no run scored we saw him at the ball to the left side of the infield couple of the ground outs with a chance uh, to produce for the angels gonna have to do something about pools i know they moved him down to the order uh, but that's not gonna be enough on the season it looks like so anyway uh, that kept us from a perfect 3-0 in baseball with free and premium picks combined kept us from a perfect 4-0 sweep when you go the soccer play into the mix but we'll take three and one every day of the week with all sports so again we've got the soccer plays Saturday play plus an early Sunday EPL play. The early Sunday play is seven star. Don't miss out on that. We've got baseball on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. We'll post on Saturday morning and uh, we'll look to cash there. And then, of course, UFC fight night time. We swept our last UFC card a week ago. We're going to look to go 2-0 again on this particular card on Saturday. So a lot going on for us. And as far as pumping out four to five games and short videos for you in baseball, I think we better wait a couple more days till Monday because I just want to make sure I, I like three or four or five games before I recommend three, four or five games each and every day. And I think we need to get a weekend under our belt and then we'll jump into it Sunday night with plays for Monday. I can promise you that. Just want to see this opening weekend. All right, as far as our free pick for Saturday's Major League Baseball. I'm going to back the Cincinnati Reds and lay the run and a half. We're going to play them here on the runs line. It's kind of a short price as far as the juice is concerned. They're hosting Detroit. They jumped all over Detroit on Friday night. They got to Boyd. It was for four earned runs over about five innings pitch. They beat up on a couple of Detroit relievers. Cisneros being one, also McKay. And as far as the Reds were concerned, great effort out of Sonny Gray. Uh, he goes six strong. He 
had what nine K's in those six strong, only five base runners allowed. The pin came in, each member of the pin pitched one inning, each member of the pin uh, threw one inning of shutout baseball. I like the Reds, obviously they were one of the so-called public favorites before the season began. We can't fault the public on that one. Uh, this team does look really good. You saw Sim, uh, Sims, Jones, and Rayleigh, as I mentioned, pitch well out of the pin. Uh, Vato and Moustakas were outstanding at the plate. Luis Castillo is going to go for the Reds in all likelihood in this particular game. Uh, last year, his big year for the Reds, he ended up averaging almost 11 punch outs per nine innings pitched. He's going to go up against his counterpart, Ivan Nova, who does have success in his past, but I think he's in trouble here with Detroit. If you looked at his K's per nine innings pitched last year, it was way down, like five and a half. And there's a couple of the Reds batters who have really cleaned up against Ivan Nova over the years. So we're going to recommend to play on the Reds, lay the run in a half with Sensi uh, to make it two straight out of the blocks over the Detroit Tigers. The Reds on the runs line for Saturday. All right, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here late Saturday night with uh, free baseball play for Sunday. Don't forget about my KBO uh, in action as we cut this video. We're just about to start our KBO game and also wanted to mention to check out my KBO each and every day of the week other than Mondays when they're off over at DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer. We'll talk to you again Saturday night.